If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this episode, we are going to talk about probes in Litmus Chaos. As I mentioned in my previous episodes, probes are nothing but a pluggable checks and there are uh, four different uh, types of probes available. You can uh, start with HTTP probe. If you want to check something like a health check or a service availability, you can leverage the HTTP probe. And if you want to send some custom command, you can use the command probes. And to validate your uh, Kubernetes objects, you can use the k probe. And for Prometheus, you can leverage the prom probe. And each probe has five different types of modes. Basically, when you want to execute this probe, so that is what the mode defined. And it has a SOT, start of the test. So basically, when you configure the SOT as a mode, then it will execute start of the experiment. And similarly, you have the EOT, end of the test, and the edge, basically it will execute before and after the test. And the continuous, it will be keep checking the probe and its state. And on chaos means only during the chaos experiment, it will send the probe. So these are the modes available in Litmus Chaos. Commonly used probe is HTTP probe, which we already covered in my previous episode, but we are going to deep dive here. So HTTP probe, the main feature is to check the availability of your endpoint or service. And also you can use it for your health check. And in this screenshot, we have some uh, probe properties where you will mention the timeout, number of uh, retries, interval, etc. And here you can uh, configure your uh, probe details. So basically, you will configure the endpoint where you want to check the availability or health check. And you can uh, configure the response time. So within this response time, it will uh, check validate. Otherwise, it will uh, the probe will fail. And here you can uh, configure the method, get, post, etc. And the criteria where you can check the response code. So these are the properties and configuration for the HTTP probe. And if you add the probe, it will automatically check based on your mode and the configuration. So in this mode, we have continuous. So basically, it will keep checking, sending the probe information, and then it will keep validating the state. Next, we are going to see about a command probe. If you want to send something like a custom uh, command, you can configure the uh, shell command and then it will, uh, pod will uh, send the commands and that will validate. And again, you can also uh, use something like a ping or curl. You can use this uh, based on your requirements. Next, we have the KH probe. So KH is basically to check the desired resource state. Uh, and then uh, you will leverage the Kubernetes uh, group uh, version uh, resource configuration. So if you want to do some validation on the K8s objects, you can use the uh, K8s probe. And similarly, if you want to validate the Prometheus uh, queries, and if you want to validate uh, some of the uh, output, then you can configure the uh, prom probe. So these are the four different types of mode. And uh, we are going to uh, see more about the HTTP probe because it's one of the commonly used uh, in Litmus Chaos. So here I'm running a simple uh, Nginx deployment with uh, three pods. So this is the load balanced URL and this is my chaos center. To configure the probe, you first you have to schedule the workflow. So just follow the on-screen prompts and let us add an experiment. Let us uh, add again a very similar uh, commonly used uh, experiment, uh, pod delete. And if you click on this edit, pen icon and if you go to the uh, define the steady state for this application so this is where we mention the probe and its configuration you can add as many probes as you want and just click on the add a new probe and enter a name so in this case let us go with the uh, nginx uh, check and then the probe type is http and if you want to configure uh, different types of probe you can uh, drop down list here and select the uh, probe mode so in this case i am going with uh, say edge mode so edge mode basically before and after and timeout i'm going to configure one retry one and interval one and in the url uh, i'm going to enter this uh, load balance url and timeout i'm just keeping with uh, 100 milliseconds and i'm going to configure the method as get and criteria equals and response code should be 200 
So here you must select the criteria. If you are not selecting, then it will uh, fail. So basically what we are going to do is whenever we execute this workflow before and uh, after the test, it will send a get call to this particular URL and then it will make sure it is uh, response code is 200 or not. So using this, we can validate the uh, health or some service availability of the endpoints. Just click on end, uh, add probe and you can keep adding a new probe by clicking on this uh, add a new probe. Now let us uh, just uh, go with the uh, default configuration for the port delete experiment and uh, keep going with the uh, next button till you start your workflow. So now our workflow is up and running. Now uh, let us uh, go to the lens IDE here and let us uh, go to the pods and uh, select the uh, litmus. So here uh, after a few moment we, we will get the pod delete uh, pod so that will have the uh, probe checks so if it is passing or if it is failing we can see it clearly in the logs and also after the experiment is done in the chaos center now let us wait for a few more moment and then let us uh, analyze the pod logs now pod delete is uh, up and running now if i go to the logs uh, here you can see the uh, status of the uh, probe state and here uh, as you see nginx check probe has been passed basically you can get the all the information response timeout nginx check the url it is checking so this is the uh, before the chaos experiment because we have configured edge mode after chaos experiment is done again it will check one more time and then make sure the probe is passing or not now let us wait for this experiment to be completed and then we can quickly go through the after the test whether probe is passing or not. So now as you see here after the chaos experiment is done it is again checking the nginx check probe again it is passing. So like this you can validate your uh, service endpoints uh, health checks or you can check something in the database or some kubernetes spots are up and running. Uh, Prometheus status so everything you can configure in the probe section so whenever you create some experiment make sure you have the probes so that you can validate your uh, endpoint uh, and also you can validate your experiment now let us go to the chaos center and now let us wait uh, for the whole experiment is uh, to be completed now as you see all the uh, steps has been uh, passed now let us go to the table view and let us click on the view logs and results and click on chaos results and if you scroll down to the end you can see the post chaos passed and pre chaos is passed so this is how you validate the uh, status and also you can validate uh, the uh, resiliency score and other details by going to the uh, show the statistics uh, page here so here also you can validate your experiment statistics and more details so that's the case on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching have a good day if you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.